like to start uh, with the panel. Um, can, I, can I get a, a brief overview of um, each of your respective sort of interpretations on where smart cities is at uh, in India? Uh, and Shalani, we might start with you. How do you think you're tracking on smart cities? Inclusivity is uh, our main focus. We want the most deprived people to come up uh, in life and have the best of opportunities explored for their own development and that's how we look at the growth of the city going. We have a digital library solution. Anyone in the world can just type tumkurdigitallibrary.com and you can become member of the digital library with millions of uh, journals and that can help you do further research and reading. The acronym is KIND for the Tumkur Smart City, which means Knowledge and Industry Nexus for Development. So we're looking at knowledge and industry. And for that, we have the university come up with a project called Skill City. So we're trying to skill everybody, even those people who have not never been to college or school. And there are training programs in which in six months, you will find a person who is totally illiterate will sit or stand before you and do a PowerPoint presentation. It's, it's that good, uh, that kind of uh, smartness. What we have seen in previous regime that under JNU and other missions, we have created a lot of assets. But who's maintaining those assets? Tomorrow I am there, Madam is there, he is there who will build the assets. But I don't know the next will be, that kind of FCDI is being built. So what we need to really look when we are delivering this project, follow a life cycle cost approach. Second, which I am really uh, would like to highlight here is, we have to follow an integrated approach. What is happening I am seeing is, somebody is coming and delivering water, somebody is coming delivering sewerage, somebody is coming delivering power and so on and so forth is. There is an integration. And integration is not there, how the technology will work. As part of your smart city initiatives, you're installing hundreds and thousands of different devices. These sensors and these data sources are capturing real-time data, which is then ingested into GIS platform through a comprehensive enterprise GIS platform, analyzed, and it's used for a number of application areas. It could be just to keep you aware, so if, for instance, the water pressure in a certain sector, certain section, falls below the threshold level, it sends out an alert, and so they can take corrective action. Maybe there's some seepage or pilferage happening in the upstream side, you can take corrective action. You can collect all the data and use it for future analysis and integrate it with various other enterprise systems for future use. So, total number of projects we have taken is 21 for, uh, I mean, the cost of which is about 3,000 crore. And we have already given work orders to the tune of 950 crores. And work is already started. There is a project uh, green light under which we have already replaced all the sodium vapor lamps by LED lights. 1,36,000 uh, LED lights are in place. And there is one more project which is uh, Nirmal Nag River project which is basically uh, pollution abatement and uh, riverfront development. 